Drumming for me is, it's not an activity, it's not entertainment for me, it's, it's a part of who I really am. Drumming for me is the way I speak my deepest emotions, emotions that I can't put in words. Drumming for me is therapy. It's what I go to when I'm stressed. It's what I go to when I have a heartbreak. Drumming for me is, is love. It's my way of, you know, spreading love to, to the world, to people, you know. Drumming for me is, is a form of praise. Drumming is my way of prayer. It's the way I communicate to God my deepest thoughts and my deepest sentiments and my deepest emotions. I was inspired to start drumming from the stories that my grandmother used to tell me. And she used to tell us fables and stories. And in the middle, she'd tell me, hey, do you hear that? I'm like, what? You know, and I'd try and listen and listen and listen. I would hear very subtle sounds, you know, like the breathing of animals. I would hear the wind howling in the trees. I would hear the crickets at night. And that is music. Nature is music. I would love to see a drumming community that is well-balanced, that it shouldn't be too hard to spot a woman or too hard to spot a guy, just an equal playing space. And I think we're headed in the right direction. We're getting more support now, now that the world is more vocal about, you know, empowerment and safe spaces and nurturing, you know, and, and I feel like these conversations are shaping the world into becoming a place where women can actually exist truly and for who they really are. <laughs>